Ah, the Mitchells versus the Machines. All I gotta say about this movie is wow, impressed, laughed, and enjoyed. These words are basically the words to describe this movie to get you to watch it. The Mitchells or Connected is a family fun film that is watchable for everyone. The animation itself is really amazing in Spider-Verse since it's made by the same humans. I mean people. <clears throat> Has a CG or 2D, 3D animation that just looks so gorgeous. The flow of the movie seems fitting and it plays out well. Nothing's really rushed per se, but it's acceptable to the point that you don't mind. The jokes and moments that are funny actually landed. Just the little jokes that seem to be thought of as funny is funny. Jokes like these seem to set me off. Come on, it's gonna be fine. I'll give them right back. <laughs> Your phones. Thank you, father. That is funny! Of course, if you're a tough guy that doesn't laugh at small jokes like that, it's not gonna be enough for you to make you chuckle, but younglings like us, it works! Now, almost like every movie, there's emotion and emotional scenes to make you feel bad for the characters. Like when Rick was watching old tapes of Katie when she was a child, that made me feel the emotion and it's barely like 13 minutes into the movie. This movie is just an impressive, expressive journey with a fun family on a road trip where a lot goes on. The road trip montage was pretty great and we get to see everything that happens to the family and of course jokes and funny moments take place and it's just a blast. One thing I really like about this movie is the constant comic book effects like how they did it with Spider-Verse. Also the puppets and scrapbook effects that Katie is obsessed with is a game changer and it's a good thing added to an animated movie. Also, I want to see more of her 84 films. So Katie is a custom filmmaker that got accepted to go to college and wants to have a future with her films and with the same people who are just like her. Then she and her dad messes things up with each other and Rick wants to fix that bond so he I canceled your plane ticket to college to go on a fun family road trip. You what? While all of this is happening over at Pal Labs or Apple in their world, they're creating robots to replace phones but of course they turn evil and capture Mark aka Steve Jobs to get rid of humans and send him to space forever. So they meet these two hilarious robots to help them get to a PAL Labs repair store to install the kill code to stop every robot. When I see these two bots are hilarious, they're hilarious. Hey, Jack Robot, get those robots! Okay, okay. I found one. Me too. Yay! We win. So they make their way to the mall where they're ambushed with PAL electronics and then... <laughs> Furbies. And they are really creepy so that fits the scene very well. So they defeat everybody at the mall and make it out. Then they come across the robot headquarters and they come up with a plan and they disguise themselves as robots to get passed through. Blorp, bleep, blorp, I am a robot. Just to educate you, that's a hurtful stereotype. The parents get captured and Katie and Aaron has to save everyone. <laughs> So to keep things short, Katie drives up to headquarters, Aaron gets captured, Rick escapes the pod, Katie falls to her death, big screens plays Manchi and that makes the robots dumb, and Katie is saved before hitting the floor and she and her dad sing their song and destroy every robot and her mom goes psycho and Katie drops Pal into an umbrella and Manchi drops her in a glass of water and dies. <laughs> then Katie finally goes to college, Aaron jumps through a window, <laughs> and that's the end of the movie. Of course there's no perfect movie out there and this movie did have some things that I didn't find quite amusing and cringy like the cat filter and the long awkward romantic stares from Abby. Also this movie could have been made a lot shorter. I'm not complaining about it that much because it was enjoyable but it's just one of those movies where the pacing of the story felt extended. Not sure if you guys felt it too but it's just my thinking. So like I said in the beginning this movie is wow, impressed, laugh and enjoyed. This movie is very good and you will love it like how you like Spider-Verse. I'd give this movie an 8 out of 10. Doesn't top Spider-Verse though, that movie is like an 8.2 for me, kind of the same. Well, that was my movie review on the Mitchells vs. the Machines. I hope you did enjoy and leave a comment down below on what you guys think of this movie for yourself. Subscribe if you're new here to the channel if you enjoy Sonic and movies because I'm planning to make more movie reviews in the future and turn on notifications to not miss any videos. My name is Nice, and I'll see you guys next time.